Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how we do a concrete patio extension, whether it's around a pool like this or just one off the back of your house or something like that. This is what we had to work with right here on this. So we're going to extend this pool patio out and actually make it a stamp concrete pad on the extension. And you can see we had to remove a lot of that grass and sod and we installed some gravel and then we, we put up our forms. and. What we used for forms was we used PVC trim boards. It's something that's called AZAC, and you can get that from Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. So look, I just want to add, I just want to tell you guys, you know, thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, I've got a lot of you guys subscribing now. If you haven't subscribed, please go down and hit subscribe now. If you like these kind of videos, hit like. But what I really like is the comments from a lot of you guys. You know, you. You've shown that you really support this channel. I just want to tell you I appreciate that. And then I get these comments like this where, you know, somebody will comment like, hey, I've, I've, I did a pad just like this guy, Michael, and I, I did it all from just watching your videos and it came out really great. So I appreciate stuff like that, guys, and, and thanks again. That's what makes doing these videos really worth it for me. So as you can see, the, the access on this pool was a little bit tough, so we had to use a conveyor truck. And using the conveyor truck, you know, didn't make it too bad, made it pretty easy. Just putting the concrete right where we need it. And what we did was we drilled and pinned into that existing concrete, that pool patio, so, you know, the two, the two separate patios would never lift or settle from each other. They would always stay the same height. Then we put our wire mesh in there, and we put the, what's called the slab bolsters under the wire mesh to keep it up off the, off the ground. So now we're just extending the concrete patio out about four to five feet in most spots. And then we're adding a, an existing larger patio onto the back of the house. Now I'm using my little, my little stand-up screed here, my five-foot stand-up screed to go around most of this. And then we're getting it bow folded. Like I said, we're going to stamp this and make sure you hang out to the end of the video so you can see what it looked like. It turned out really great. But the key is, you know, when you do something like this, and especially if you're stamping it, that you don't bite off more than you can chew, and you know just exactly like how the concrete's gonna act and react, so you can get a good stamp impression in it. Um, we're all pretty experienced at stamping. We've been doing it for years and years and years. It's a specialty skill, and it's just not something you wanna tackle without starting you know, on something really small at first, or even maybe working for somebody and learning the ropes that way. But everybody's got to learn somehow. And, you know, if you can learn by watching, and I do have a stamp concrete course down in the description that will really help you understand the basics of stamping. But at the end of the day, you know, after learning and watching videos like that, you still have to practice on something small just to get the feel of the concrete. And that's that's basically how finishing concrete works is you gotta understand how it feels you know whether it's under a mag float or a steel trowel so the concrete's set up enough now so we can start stamping and this is the key to to stamping is learning when to start and it's different every day depending on your conditions the temperature there's just a lot that goes into learning when to start I've got plenty of videos on learning when to start stamping or when to start finishing that you guys can check out. So Darren and Eric are getting started based on, you know, where the sun came up first, where it started hitting the concrete first, and also, you know, where we started pouring. We're throwing a charcoal release powder today for our release dust, and that's going to really add a really cool secondary color to the concrete. You'll see at the end when we get we get done and we start cleaning and finishing the concrete but right now we're just using a stone texture stamp to get what's called a stone texture finish into this this is what the homeowner wanted is just a stone texture look and we're gonna saw some contraction joints in this the next day so it'll all have sawed contraction joints we got a roller there with some stone texture on it we use for the edges and that that roller works really well just to help stay ahead of the edges 
we've got multiple different types of stone textured stamps to give it a really cool effect that we're mixing in. See, Darren's pretty good at stamping. So is Eric. Both these guys have worked for me for over 20 years. They, uh, they both really know what they're doing. Darren's got some special shoes on. He's wearing some flat-soled called step-in shoes that that really make stamping nice so they just they just kind of make sure that you know you don't leave any type of heel print or anything like that from what you're wearing into the surface of the concrete but he just he's used to wearing them now I'm over there starting on a different section because the concrete's starting to set up enough over there where it's ready for the stamp so Luckily, we had enough stamps where we could kind of break them up and I could take a few of them and start over there and then Eric and Darren could keep coming down and we're going to meet up on that bigger section there. This was in, in the middle of the summer. It was pretty hot today. It was probably in the 80s. So we're, it's about an 800, I think it was 850 square foot pool deck we were doing. The concrete was a 4,000 PSI too. It had, we put gold gray, integral color in it. So it's going to have like a grayish, blackish type of effect after when we're done. It's a process though. I mean, once you get started, when, when the concrete's ready, there's no stopping. It's just you, you go until you're done. You know, unless maybe you've got a spot that's in the shade that's not drying quite so fast. But this is really going to transform this existing pool patio into a really nice space. Tia's on the job today. She's helping out in any way she can. She was rolling some edges for us, making sure that we got everything we need to keep moving. Definitely, you know, you don't want to start stamping shorthanded. You want to make sure you got plenty of people on hand, unless you're doing something really small. can see how we're just pulling those stamps up checking to make sure we got good texture before we move the stamp to the next section we only really needed to use the weight of our body to get enough good texture in this because we kept up with it pretty good sometimes we'll use a tamper to tamp in the, the texture but today we didn't have to do that can see how we're just moving from one stamp to the next one at a time taking up square footage just one end to the other is basically all it takes who likes this stamp texture let me know down in the comments when you get to see the end you know do you like a stone textured look or do you do you like something different with more like a defined grout line like a ashlar slate or a cobblestone or maybe a random stone type of thing. This is a pretty popular texture up here where we live in Maine and we've done this around a lot of pool decks. You can see we're finishing up, getting up to that last last point. When we do, you know, we'll start carrying the stamps up. We, we bring a pressure washer with us and we wash these right up as we as we finish up so then on, they're nice and clean for the next job we stamp a lot of concrete during the year this is you know I probably only video about 25 percent of the stuff we do I don't get to video every single job it would just be way too much video and editing to do but I try to provide enough really good information for you guys that want to learn how to do this to learn from and also enough entertainment for you guys who just want to watch for entertainment um, to, to just watch so that's the very last stamp on this and then we're gonna show you what it looks like to wash this off and what the finished product looks like when we're done you can see Darren's gonna check make sure it looks good if it looks good to him he's gonna look at it there he goes and then he'll pull it right off 
That powdered release definitely makes a mess, but it cleans right up with a, with a pressure washer. You can see, so Darren's on here pressure washing. We use some Dawn dish detergent in the water and just scrub off all the excess powdered release. And some of it, you know, probably about 15% of it or so will stay. That got pressed right into the surface. You can see how that stays with the release. And that, then you seal over that and it makes it look really sharp. Now you can see all that black. All that black is the release that's staying. And the gray is the color in the concrete. But what, what a difference this makes around that pool. It really dresses it up, makes it pop. So this is the finished product, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you like this. Uh, hit smash that like button and, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Again, I appreciate you watching. And we'll see you on the next one.